Yeah, it's good to see you too, Crips. It's good to see you too, bud. Yeah, we're gonna have to deal with the monstrosity that is the mess that is this camp. I'm getting sick of seeing it like this, Crips. This, this is poor. This, guys, is a state of poor. We're gonna have to you know, deal with this. First off, we don't want to get shot in the back while we're trying to deal with this. So let's put up the white flag. There we go. Oh, yeah, Crips, we need a massive big tent. You keep talking about four walls and a roof business. Yeah, let's have a drink. And fix this mess. Okay. Now let's figure out where we need to go, guys. Uh, we need to find a table. Ah, yeah, it's over here. The wilderness. Outfitters. There we go. Wilderness Outfitters. You know what you're looking for? I got an idea. We're going to buy the covered big tent, guys. I think we're going to go big or go home. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Oh, okay. Well, let me buy. Should make for a better night's sleep. Hell yeah. There we go. And I think we already... Yeah, we did buy a theme. We bought the bounty hunter theme. Hell yeah. We're going to finally get to take a look at this on the big tent. There we go. And now we do need to get a dog, guys. And our options are the foxhound, the retriever, and the lab. So, I'm going to need you guys to help me here. Let's load up the chat. And let's go. Let's first ask, how's the leg? If I can get some feedback, guys, if I'm still lagging at all. Or if it's, you know, if we're doing good. If it's the chat, if the stream's running good. But, I'm going to need you guys to vote. Are we going for the fox? Are we going for the... The bay? Or are we going for the lab? Boom. There we go, guys. There we go, guys. If you guys can send some votes. And we'll pick a dog. That would be awesome. Well, actually, while well, we wait, take a look at the different coat colors. So the fox hound is apparently the cheapest. Brindle, black and white, and black and tan. Oh, I like that. Yeah, he looks good. So the reason we actually have to get a dog, guys, um, is he will attack and prevent all the people that come to the camp. And and when I mean come to the camp. Any enemy posses or raiders trying to steal your goods, because if you do the trading and have the trading rule, you'll notice sometimes your goods disappear, and when you come back to camp, there'll be five to ten goods less than they were. That's because Crips got raided, and then sometimes you'll have to go over and heal them, and it costs four bucks to do so. Oh, that's, that's two votes for the fox. Okay, guys, we're going fox. And what color do you guys want to go? Brindle, white, or tan? I really like the tan. So we'll, we'll go... B... W... T. Thank you so much for voting, guys. Friggin' awesome. Hell yeah, good choice, Donnie. I agree with that. Does everybody agree with that? I, I, I think we're all good with tan, right? Yeah, I'm pulling the trigger on it. Sorry, guys. I'm instantly in love with that damn good trick. Oh, we get to name him? Oh, no. Oh, and I bet you he'll die and then we'll have to heal him. Okay. Um... Uh, 
I know it is definitely not historically accurate, but some kind of want to name him Ruckus. We can bring the Ruckus. <laughs> That's, I think that's the most NWA thing. That does not fit for the Wild West. Yeah, um, Rufus would be a damn good name for him. Hmm, that's something I'm going to have to ponder for a minute. I wonder if it'll let me change his name. Hmm. I am unsure. How does a... Yeah, let's... Yeah, I think it's... Yeah, I'll go Rufus. I like that. There we go, buddy. I'd rather pet a pig. Whoa. Hold on, Crips. I was about to lead with, Hey, you're not really looking the part of a trader or a hunter or a trapper, you know, in the Wild West. Maybe we should buy you some new clothes. But you're going to treat our dog like that, buddy? I don't think you deserve a new wardrobe. This guy's a Cripshire prick. He's our dog, buddy. I swear, if he goes over and kicks the dog, I'm shooting Crips, getting rid of him, and I will get myself a new camp companion that has better dialogue or something. Damn. Anyways, yeah. So, next up, we're buying Crips a new outfit. Because if we're going full hunter and trapper, we need to lose the bounty hunter look. We're dropping the bounty hunter look. So, our options are that one and then one that is 10 gold that has the bear headdress. And I feel like tonight I'm going to drop the 10 gold. Yeah, Crips. Very dapper. But I swear, if you are rude to the dog, I will never buy you another outfit again. So help me so help me anything else just say the word anything else i have 326 dollars i there is nothing else i could possibly buy i am literally guys the definition of broke but oh crips and i look the part oh we certainly do hey boy hey rufus good boy hell yeah thank you guys he's a damn good dog that is a hell of a dog. Hey, it was a daily challenge to pet a dog. Hey, I got some gold and XP for petting my own dog. Damn. It's kind of like making money for doing your own chores when you were a kid. Chores you had to do. Never understood things like that. Kids, they got paid for that. <laughs> I got paid for mulching and clearing lots of property. <laughs> Good dog. Good boy. Let's go, buddy. Oh, and that's our new tent. Uh, now, it... oh, okay, that is gnarly. It actually lets us go in our tent. How cool is that? <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Donnie, man, I'm blown away, dude. Huge improvement to the camp. Now I like living here. Oh, the table's nice. Damn, I, that's a lot classier. Hey, Crips, you were complaining about the four walls and the roof? Hey, man. Hey, welcome to come on over. Come see the camp. Doesn't look like peasants live here anymore. Uh, that's what happens, guys, when you invest all your money. Now I got to start doing more trader routes and runs and making all that cash back. Because, ho oh, damn. Ho oh, damn. I like what you've done with the camp. So do I. I, I'm just, I'm sorry guys, I, I'm kind of flabbergasted, I'm not even talking, I'm kind of just amazed by all the details. I wouldn't mind going through and looking what, what the regular camp looks like, because this is actually the bounty hunter one. The, the large tent for the bounty hunter. So like, that's why you're seeing the rifles, the guns, the bounty posters, the, the ammunition horn, well the black powder horn, sorry not ammunition horn, it's a black powder horn. Um, yeah, all the shackles, everything. Oh, and then there's the deer skull up top here. Here are the, uh, yeah, the buffalo skull, not buffalo, the bull skull. <laughs> Apologies, guys. The bull skull, 
with the two what, what are those peacemakers hanging on it yeah that's awesome that is definitely classy can the doggy go in the tent I DJ, that is a good question. Can, can you... Can I get him to fall? I wonder what actions he can do. Like, because I know he will fall on... It. So if someone's attacking my camp and I'm not there, he'll come and alert me and drag me back to my camp to tell me, like, oh, hey. Awesome. Thank you, Donnie. Um, to, he'll, he'll literally drag me back there. All the way back to the camp here. And apparently he'll also attack people. And now... I actually, what you do is you unlock the ability to have him at your camp as a trader, and he unlocks more skills and ability as you level up in trader. But I leveled up my trader um, role in a matter of a couple days because we had the double XP week a few weeks back. So I didn't end up lock unlocking the dog and figured I would save it for you guys so you guys got to choose. Apologies, guys. Okay, so the camp's all souped up, and now we're super poor, which is a good feeling, but we are super poor, so we got to find ways to make our money back, and because we're kind of retiring from the bounty hunter life and going more into the hunting and trapping, we got to go see a lady named Harriet, and the reason for that is Harriet's got the scoop on all of the rarest species what in our lifetime would now probably be endangered animals and the guy like my guy would probably be the fault of that and i should probably reconsider going on this mission but anyways we got a mission to go on we got money to make we got to step into the 19th century here you know we got some animals to hunt so crips looks the part and we only sort of do so let's fix that with an outfit or two i'm now lost in my own camp guys is the tent yeah the tent is now my wardrobe okay that makes sense because that little tiny bedroll was my tent and that was also the wardrobe okay so we've made some trapper outfits here some different ones so this one more or less here is kind of a, a french uh a, a french canadian actually more late 17 early 18th century inspired kind of outfit it's actually ironically the collector's outfit but it takes little <laughs> to any work if you've seen a lot of pictures of french trappers to see that the outfit the pants the only thing that in my opinion is really off is the boots and i'm wearing um apologies i'm pointing in the wrong direction an offhand holster they would not have an offhand holster under any condition they probably they wouldn't even likely have a holster they have just a bandolier and then their flintlock would be wrapped in their shirt because this would be the time of when you're rocking a flintlock and not a six shooter and actually most of these outfits are but a lot of the trapper outfit paraphernalia and look ended up carrying on for a good 300 years because it consisted mostly of pelted animals leather belts bandoliers moccasins and fur trap hats so um apologies these outfits we can get rid of some of these ones but here we go yep starting with the french canadian yeah inspired very much um kind of more the 17th century uh french canadians um so more up the quebec to almost atlantic way here and that would be more the summer look where then yeah the winter look you would see uh grizzly with more of a beaver felted hat um than just the minuscule crushed beaver so i mean by beaver felted it would actually be a top hat with the beaver felted lining and inside um so a much classier classier look than a more summer look and then yep the grizzly trapper as i mentioned kind of the grizzly adams look wearing the, the good old grizzly coat <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> definitely yeah the voyager Uh, yeah, here, the Canadian tuxedo, <laughs> the good old Canadian lumberjack style hunter and trapper. Uh, Danielle and I both had a good joke, the, the red green, if you guys, uh, my Canadian friends here, remember that show. 
You know, if you can't be good looking, you at least be handy. And then, some people may or may not recognize this. This is Hugh Glass. So, if you've seen the Res uh, the Revenant, yeah, the Revenant with Leonardo DiCaprio, um, this is one of Hugh's more earlier earlier outfits than say later on the multi bear pelt one that he that you see him rocking in the movie. So I think we will go. I think we're gonna go French Canadian. There we go. What say you Crips? I say we're looking the park, good sir. Now, the only thing, guys, I need to remember to do when I do go see Harriet, she's not a hunter. She's a naturalist. If she sees that hat, she's liable to drug me and leave me out in the middle of the lake for gators. Sounds like I'm being, uh, what's the word there? Overdramatic, right? Let's just put it this way. It's happened three times. The gator thing, not the drugging thing. That happens every other time I see her. I think it's some kind of weird thing. Um, but no, she's left me to die as gator food three times. So not fun. Whoa, whoa, what's up, boy? Darn, guys, that looks really good. I'm really impressed with that. Yeah, yes. Yes, Donnie. Yes, Joker. Yeah, bud. Hell yeah, guys. Red Green is the best. I miss that show. Ah, I really miss that show. It's funny, I say things like that because, you know, YouTube and streaming is just actually a click away. So, I think I know what I'm watching when I'm done streaming tonight. I'm going to watch some red green, guys. Okay, so, apologies, Ulysses. You are a damn good horse, but you don't really want to go where we're going. So, let's find the butcher table. Get rid of this deer. Getting a little low on supplies here. Oh, I know, Crips. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. Filling up the supply, doing the legendary hunt. And... Oh, good boy. Damn good dog. Okay. So we need to just... Stables. Horses. Owned horses. There we go. Where in the world is this horse? Horse! Hello, Cisco. Hello, good boy. You guys are gonna love him. He's beautiful. And as you can tell, he is all geared up and ready to go. Perfect trapper horse. Come on, buddy. Yeah, we're on our way to hunt some rare... Rare legendary animals. And he is actually a historically accurate choice for more so the American trapper than the Canadian trapper. Um, a lot of people would ask what would be the distinction. Well, that became literally the buckskin. Um, anybody, like I made a reference earlier to Dances with Wolves. Um, anybody who's watched any American Civil War movies, American Wild West movies... Out of all the horses and brown horses they show, nine out of ten times, you're going to see one of these. Maybe four or five of them hidden in the background. They're one of the best working horses, the buckskin. But they were also the choice of the American cavalry and the American military. And the British military, um, the French loved the buckskin. Um, the natives used the buckskin, bred the buckskin with their Appaloosa and made some beautiful, incredible, actually mixed breed horses that were... Damn great working horses. Great warrior horses, too. Like, oh, That's the thing. Yeah, the buckskin and the Appaloosa. Uh, it's such a shame. I, I don't like the actual horse system in this game. And when I say that, the horses are brilliantly designed. But my problem with Rockstar is the way they made the horse menus. And each horse has like one level where it only has one coat breed. It literally should be like, um, 
here, I'll, I'll stop and explain it. So the buck skin should have a low level, a medium level, and a high level that you can then raise to each different level. So when you're a low level, you can buy a low quality buck skin horse. And that in real life would be a buck skin that hasn't been bred well with proper parents looked after. It's, it's just a, I hate to say it, a poor quality horse where then a horse that's been stabled rode every day trained every day comes from high quality breeding is going to be the higher quality horse so the problem is if i wanted a buckskin at a low level and then a medium level and a high level there's no way to do that in this game there's only the buckskin at whatever level i'm buying and that's not realistic to how horses are like the shire horse that i bought and used for the longest time he's actually considered a lesser quality horse meanwhile the shire horse in real life is the biggest the biggest horse in the world the shire and the ardennes the clydesdale they are jive friggin enormous some of them are seven plus feet their head up like they are huge horses and their stats don't really allocate correctly because if you think about it how fast they trot and how fast they're going to move well, yeah, a smaller horse is going to be much, much, much faster. But the gallop length and distance of a horse that's like a Clydesdale, it, its gallop length is going to move twice the distance of something like an Arabian or like any massive stallion. And that's where, like, it, it stats aren't reflective of that. So I kind of would... I, I guess we're already... Oh, oops, sorry, guys. I guess we're already too far down the rabbit hole for them to change that system. But if they ever added, like, an animal breeding system, it would coo be cool to see them change it up that way. Hello, gentlemen. Hello. I, j I just need to get by you guys. Okay, we're heading up here. Thank you guys so much for everybody who's still tuned in and still watching the stream. I appreciate it, guys. And anybody who just uh, bounced in, we are actually headed on... The great northern stag hunt we are headed up to go see harriet and she is going to put us in the right direction to start hunting legendary animals so we can eventually track this stag i've heard stories of a legendary stag in this game an all black stag a one-of-a-kind deer male deer not a white buck not a white tail but no an all black stag that is mine for the hunting i'm gonna hunt it and I'm going to proudly wear it, and that's going to help represent mine and Crips Trade Company. So, oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Um, no, ma'am, I'm... Doom, did you only bring animal hats? Are... What does one say if one um, wears uh, a, a full-on bear coat to a vegan's dinner party? Because that's what I almost just did. Hey, Harriet. This connection between us, it's developed into something quite powerful, don't you think? Nope, shutting it down. Danielle! The majority of people go through life nope. believing they see everything. When, in fact, they see almost nothing. I do when see nothing. I'm here solely for the hunt. Just imagine. The animal hunt. Scurry the animal hunt, ma'am. Hop as a rabbit. <laughs> well, I've discovered an herb. Scarlet and amethyst flowers. Harry Adam officinalis. Who's <laughs> what I've named it. If you can make contact with a vestige of the animal while ingesting the herb and truly opening your mind to its vital forces, you will be transported in ways you can't there. even begin to fathom. Trust me, this will open your eyes. If I get murdered by a bear while she's doing this, fuck my life. Free. I wouldn't share this information <laughs> with anyone but you. 